Okay, this video is for you if you're frustrated at how ineffective most Christian fixes are. That is, you have a problem, Christians come along with a prescription for that problem, and the prescription doesn't work. So I want to talk about that. I've been hanging around with Christians for over 50 years, and um, I uh, share that frustration. And I think I've made some discoveries that have helped me, and hopefully they will help you as well. And first of all, what am I talking about? Well, for example, you might have a problem with anger, bitterness, resentment, grudges, whatever, and... Um, <laughs> someone comes along and says, well, your problem is you need to forgive. And it's like, okay, yeah, how? Well, I don't know how, just forgive. You got to forgive. Jesus says you have to forgive. Well, that doesn't really help, does it? I mean, you can try to muscle your way through forgiving, but I have news for you, it doesn't really work. You need the grace of God to forgive, and most people have no idea how to get that grace of God. Or another example, uh, maybe somebody's struggling with a porn addiction, and um, the uh, advice that's given is, uh, don't lust. You know, quote uh, uh, Matthew 5, where Jesus talks about lusting uh, after a woman is the same as committing adultery with her in your heart. Well. How does that deal with a porn addiction? It does not. It doesn't do anything. It is basically, you're sinning, stop sinning. And um, uh, most Christians, I think, uh, are never really taught the dynamics of why people sin. And as a result, they just have kind of this half-baked idea about a sin nature and feeding the new nature, not feeding the old nature. And it really is not a very effective strategy for dealing with anything. And uh, it doesn't really have the oomph to deal with addictions like that. So the basic prescription is try harder. And I tell you, I've listened to thousands of sermons, and so many of them are just a rerun of the same prescription. You're having problems in your life? Try harder. You're sinning? Try harder. You're doing something wrong? Stop sinning and try harder. Well, try harder doesn't work because the Christian life was designed not for people who try harder, but for the people who are smart enough to know that try harder doesn't work and that without the grace of God, we're sunk. And then we get into platitudes, you know, let go and let God. Like, huh? You know, what does that mean? Or give it to Jesus. Okay. How? Or pray about it. But what do you pray? How do you pray? How does it get better? About 25 years ago, I made a discovery that really changed how I approach all of these things and really started activating the grace of God in my life. And it's kind of a twofold discovery. And I'll give it to you, and it's really simple, and it's so simple you might be tempted to dismiss it, but you don't want to do that because there's just a lot right here in these two sentences. One is I learned to be 100% honest with myself and with God, and two, I just started asking God, what do you want me to know? And so I start by being honest. This is what I'm feeling. If my feelings could talk, this is what they would say. This is what's going on inside me. I know you want me to do this, but I really want to do that. And here's why. Here's what's going on. This is what I think I would lose if I do what I, you want me to do. And so on. I just started getting just completely honest with God. Not in an arrogant, defiant, rebellious way, but just in an honest way. Humble, honest, open with God, vulnerable with God. And then I followed it up with, what do you want me to do? And the amazing thing is that when we position ourselves like that before God, 
God brings his perspective, his heart, his mind, the way he thinks into our lives, and we feel and experience the love of God. We sense his presence. It's just amazing. It's transformational. The Bible has a word for it. It's called repentance. Repentance, something that's very misunderstood. People think that repentance is just turning around and not doing not sinning anymore, but no, that's the outcome of repentance. Repentance is the change of perspective that God gives us when we ask him for it, when we go to him and we're honest and we just say, this is what's going on inside. What do you want me to know? And then we have this aha moment with God, this paradigm shift where all of a sudden everything changes and uh, the love that we didn't feel, we do feel. The wisdom that we didn't have, now we do have. The uh, sinful desire that was there isn't there anymore. It's just uh, we do this 180 inside and everything changes. So anyway, I want that for you. I pray, God in heaven, please, I pray, guide this person right here in a journey of being able to get your perspective, of finding out from you what you want them to know in these hurting places inside, in these troubled and confused places inside, in these places where they're frustrated and not making any progress and everything is falling apart. God, I pray that you would shine your light and make it clear in Jesus' name. Anyway, much love from my home to yours. I'm Dwight Clow, and uh, I hope you have a fantastic week.